Setting up your routes with the Pretty Routes plugin is really simple. Um, after you've successfully uploaded the plugin, you're going to notice two different panels have been added to the WordPress admin section. And we're going to start with route maps. A good practice is to set up your maps before you um, enter the routes, otherwise you won't have a map to add the routes to. So first thing you'll do is navigate to the route maps panel here and click add new. The route maps panel is very simple. Uh, what you're going to do here is just name the map and establish something that you'll remember uh, as reference when adding routes so you'll know which map you're adding to. Um, and the main thing you're going to do here is set your zoom level. Uh, it's if you want to create, you have to create a new map for each and every different map you want to display on your site. Um, otherwise, you're just going to be displaying the same routes over and over. This plugin lets you add as many uh, maps as you want, and within those maps, you can have as many unique locations that you want. Um, <clears throat> so, on this panel, you're going to have two different modes auto, uh, this section controls the zoom. So, auto, which is the default, is going to automatically center in on all of the map locations that you've added to your map, um, all of the routes that you add. So if you have something going across the United States, it's going to kind of zoom in close to the United States. Uh, but if you have your biggest route only crosses like the state of Ohio, uh, it's going to automatically zoom in to cover the whole state rather than the whole country. So the other way is manual mode, and that's where this map section comes into play. It lets you center on any address or region that you want to focus your your map in on. <clears throat> so for example, I just typed in Ohio really quick, but you can enter any address, and then you use the zoom to establish your custom zoom. So if you have a start point and the end point is far off and you don't necessarily want to show the whole route, you just want to show where it begins, you can set your zoom level and this is how it's going to display on your front end um, uh, of your website where you, you, where you publish your map. So after you set this up, set your zoom level, your, your zoom mode here, you're just going to click publish just like usual and that would be it for the maps. Now the second part, which is the big part, um, the, well, the core of the, the plugin is the routes panel. This is where you add your custom routes. Uh, the colors and all the, the specifications that you add to your routes are going to be added here. So we're just going to click add new. And just like any WordPress post, everything's going to be pretty familiar. So you're going to name your route. Uh, this is again just to organize it that the title will not be displayed on your front end so this first panel here at the map uh, is where it displays the maps you've created which we just did in the previous step you're going to select whichever map you want this specific route to appear so I'm just going to randomly pick one you'll set your color via this little color picker very simple and for the route itself you have the A and B location. A is your start point, B is your end point. You can either double click, let's toggle back and forth. So this little panel here allows you to toggle between A and B to which one you're uh, um, controlling at the moment. But as you can see, it's a very simple, familiar interface where you drag and drop each location. Um, a is always going to be start, B is always going to be the end point, and every time you do it, Google Maps is going to re-render the route. Um, it's kind of like a GPS uh, finding the best directions to from one location to the next. Um, so <clears throat> the other method you can do, of course, is to enter a specific address. So if I want the end point to be in Ohio, I'm going to select B. And then I would type in a specific address, but for the demo, I will just type in Cincinnati, Ohio, click find, and you'll see it automatically updates. Pretty simple. So after you've established both locations, the starting and the end, you're going to navigate down to see some of the more specific details. First thing you'll notice is that the plugin renders the distance and duration. This is something just to, as a side note to keep 
uh, handy because you might want to include it in your tooltip to kind of give the, your users more information. Uh, but we'll start with the from location and here you're just editing the details. So you get to specify whether you want to add a tooltip um, and if you do select a tooltip you can have the content of the tooltip here below and that's what of course appears when you hover over a location. Uh, one of the more interesting features is the custom pinpoint graphics. Each location, the beginning and the end points, you can have a unique pinpoint graphic and that's done through WordPress's uh, you know, uploading interface that you're all familiar with. Um, you can again have a different one for the start point and for the end point which could have quite a bit, uh, quite a few different uses. You know, um, your pin graphics can actually say start here, end here, that sort of thing. Uh, everything here uh, from <clears throat> the lower section is essentially a copy and paste of the top but you were just dealing with the two location, which is point B on the map, the end point. So the same thing, enable tooltip, uh, upload your custom image, essentially setting up the, the beginning and the end of your route. After that, you're just gonna hit publish like you would with any WordPress post and your route is ready to use.